Does it make, oh yes, they love this. Party, because that was a party. And my absolute favorite song would have to be Into the New World, because that's what it started the story. Over My Skin is for everyone about finally being comfortable in your own skin. I wanted to bring all the things I love about K pop and all the things I love about the pop I grew up to. And for an album, yes, I'm hoping to continuously put out music and hopefully have a body of work to share for my fans. There was like fanny tastic. Friends here were like, we can call them fanny packs. So I was like, oh my god, no. But there are some really, really fun and creative names. So I'm really looking forward to what the fans come up with. So let me know what you guys think. Don't say fanny pack. I am a huge fan of the Lionheart Talk Talk because I had a lot of input on that album. That song, I loved so much that I performed at my solo concert, like on an acoustic version. Sorry to disappoint, but... <laughs> no, actually they said, if she doesn't pick the Lionheart Talk Talk, we don't know her. So yes, you do know me. The tour outfit. And I feel like everybody's like, yes. That was not the pink we thought we were getting. And then it was like fluorescent almost obnoxious pink. I mean, everything is a challenge, but growing up in front of the camera, my bandmates and I were talking about certain things, and then they were like, wow, we grew up really well. And I was like, yeah, pat on the back to everybody. Growing up would probably be one of the toughest things, but I'm here at this interview. I made it. I feel like I'd probably be doing the art side or the um, behind the scenes side to music or fashion or, or puppies. <laughs> I guess I'm getting both worlds where I get to come here and say, I'm thinking in Korean because I was always thinking in English when I was in Korea, but I guess I'm, I'm flexing both muscles. My secret is having just as comfortable shoes when I'm off of them and balancing, because you can, yes, it's unreal. My choreographer is unreal. <laughs> Mind control. Oh my gosh, I look so creepy saying that. Wait, so does that make me Professor X? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Call me Professor T. Little Mermaid is everything because uh, morals and values were built on Disney. You know, being in a world where you think you have everything and everyone tells you that you should, that you should believe what they're saying, but you believe in a bigger world and you go out of your comfort zone for them. And I think that's an amazing story. And it's ironic because I'm scared of fish eyes. Weird, right? No side eyes though for Mariel. That's a hard question because you love all of them. But I did get to meet Victoria Beckham. She told me about it. She's like, yeah, being in a girl band is amazing. You create family from that. And I was like, you're right. I love all of you. <laughs> yes, I love them all. It was during their interview. Someone was like, yeah, you need to go see her. And she was like, I'm not that desperate. And it was a joke, but I guess the fans love when we say like pretty intense keywords. And that's why they're like, yeah, Tan's not desperate. And she posted a support post on my song. She put like every pink emoji there was, and that takes a lot of time and heart. And then the fans are like, yeah, totally desperate. And I was like, no, she just loves me. We love each other. Yes, we are desperate for each other. Does that clear everything? <laughs> These adorable puppies are available for adoption at Best Friends Animal Society. Check out their website at bestfriends.org.